Hello and welcome to this new episode of Web Demystified. I'm your host, Jeremy, and today we are talking about JavaScript. JavaScript is the programming language at the heart of the modern web. The trick is that there is no such thing as JavaScript. What? What crap is that again? Yeah, it's gonna be a complicated video. JavaScript was created in 1995, but very quickly in 1997, it has been standardized at the standard organization's ECMA International under the name ECMAScript. Ah, oh, that's why you said there's no such thing as JavaScript. Um, not really. It's a little bit more subtle than that. ECMAScript defines the basic syntax of the language and its core mechanisms, but in itself, it doesn't do very much. I mean, like any other programming language, it needs a standard library to be truly usable. And this is where things get complicated. These days, there are two flavors of JavaScript. On the one hand, JavaScript in the browser. In here, you get a bunch of utilities to modify your HTML documents, making network requests, uh, managing data, doing audio and graphics rendering, and many, many, many more. On the other hand, JavaScript on the server, there you get a very different set of utilities uh, that let you manage the computer directly, access files and folders, handle network resources, spawn processes, etc. In each case, you have access to a very different range of functionality that have absolutely nothing in common at all. In many aspects, JavaScript on the server is closer to what other programming languages usually do. However, JavaScript in the browser is what people use the most on a daily basis. So for that very reason, this is what I'll focus on for the rest of that video. So let's focus on JavaScript inside the browser. Like CSS, JavaScript is embedded in HTML using a specific HTML element, script. So you can write on JavaScript code directly inside the script element, or you can write it in a dedicated file that you can link to in your HTML document. I'm not gonna teach you JavaScript today, but let's walk through some silly code to see how it looks. As you can see, it's a typical programming language. We have function declarations and function calls, variables declarations, conditional tests, iteration loops, web standards, API call, and even some fancy string templates. Let's stop on line 15. This line registers an event listener. In plain English, we define a function that will be called when the load event of the current window is emitted. This is one of the key concepts behind JavaScript. Unlike many languages, JavaScript has native asynchronous mechanisms that let it react to events. In a nutshell, some tasks can take a long time and complete later in the future. Reading some data out of a database, getting geolocation data, making network requests, or the user can interact with the page. Clicking, touching, inputting text, scrolling, dragging. In cases like this, nobody wants to see their browser freezing until it's done. To avoid that, JavaScript delegates the work in the background and when it's done, an event is emitted. An event that your code can listen for and react to. So, asynchronism is a very important feature of the language, but by no means the only one. Object prototype, first class function, internationalization, iteration, closure. Exploring JavaScript and the thousands of APIs available in the browser will take us in an amazing journey in the modern web. Okay, let's recap. JavaScript is a programming language. It's the combination of the ECMAScript standard with other standard functionality. It's highly asynchronous and it can react to events. And no, sorry, it's not that simple. JavaScript is maybe the most complicated technology of the whole web platform, but it's also the most powerful. And you've been told with great power comes great responsibility. You know the deal. In the videos that follow, 
we will unleash the power of the web platform thanks to HTML, CSS, and of course, JavaScript. Thank you for watching this video. JavaScript is a key technology of the modern web. So while waiting for our next video, I strongly suggest that you take a look at the learn section of MDN. In the meantime, if you enjoyed that video, feel free to like it and to share it with your friends. They will thank you for that. To continue the discussion, feel free to comment down below or to join me and my colleagues on Twitter. And finally, long live the open web. See you next time. Oh, and by the way, just JavaScript has nothing to do with Java. Bye.